I kind of think about BitCloud in the same analogy from the gaming world where I came from, where you have this giant shared backend that's a, that you know is very highly highly scalable, uh, assuming we can get many many nodes and you know the team can continue to improve improve upon it. That allows for a certain set of things: comments, likes, posts, follows, and this really interesting thing called the creator coin. I you know the thing that I thought of back in the day was Facebook platform. We had this thing called Facebook credits. We had to pay a pretty hefty tax that Facebook kept throttling. It was 30 cents on the dollar, 15 cents on the dollar. So you had to always be at their mercy. And here in the creator coin economy, you know, that's you're in, you're in direct control of that, uh, where you have much more control, I should say. So, so I really just think about it as like that back end layer. Um, and we have no idea sort of all the, the blossoming of apps on top of it that they could spawn. I don't think Facebook would have said, Hey, you know, this farming game is going to, reach a billion users on our platform when they first launched it. Um, so that's that's kind of the equivalent thing here. I think there's room for games. I think there's room for social media, of course. I think there's room for um, all kinds of like hybrid apps that use the chain, have some behavior on chain, some behavior off chain.